From day one, I've wanted to be a, uh, a law enforcement officer in Garner. This is my hometown. I wanted to give back. Ever since I can remember, my dad uh, was chief of police here from 1970 to 1989. So I grew up in the law enforcement family, especially when the, the department was so much smaller. I knew all the officers growing up, and they knew me as well, probably sometimes not on good terms. <laughs> so growing up in the law enforcement household, I knew I was going to be one or two things, a teacher or a cop. And I, I get to do a little bit of both. Uh, I get to be a law enforcement officer full time, and I get to teach on the side. There, there is a draw to being in public service. My son is a school teacher, and, there's, and he, he has felt that draw as well. Instead of going into law enforcement, he went into the teaching side of things. So looking back at it, uh, there was some excitement that draws you in uh, originally, and helping people, it, it's got to be in your blood or you won't be successful. I had to work my way back here. I started off in a very small town in Nash County and then moved to Clayton for a couple of years. And at the time, I didn't meet the educational requirements to to be able to work here. So I worked and continued to get my education on the side, uh, outside of work, and I finally met those requirements and was able to apply and get hired here, thankfully. Back in 2010, myself and, and some members of the community got together to form a board to start talking about how can we help uh, the Garner community all of the Garner community. And that's how the Garner Police Athletic Activities League was formed. We had many long meetings, wrote bylaws, constitutions, made it a nonprofit because obviously we have to have some funding to be able to do some of the things we want to do. We got the board going. We started off with one program at East Garner Middle School, and that started our school based programs. Fortunately, we still have that program at East Garner, and uh, we've expanded in the North Garner. Most recently, we've partnered with the Garner Parks and Recreation and Cultural Resources Department and with their basketball league. So we have a PAL Garner Parks Cooperative Basketball League going on. So over all those years of doing that, we, we've gotten kids involved in boxing, uh, jiu-jitsu, after-school activities. We've taken them to uh, Mudcats games, Carolina Hurricanes games and it hasn't costed these kids a penny. And through Garner Powell, I was able to form a relationship with a child. His name is Kamari Campbell. He, uh, during his time with us, he, at, with Powell, he was at uh, Creech Road Elementary School. And at the time, we had programs in every elementary school as well. And he uh, developed brain cancer and ended up passing away from it. That child wanted to be a cop so bad. Um, we were able to swear him in as an honorary officer and, and we're nearing the date of his anniversary. And so um, he's one of those kids, you know, we're trying to touch their lives. He touched ours tremendously. Hey, keep pushing. On defense, keep in the ball. Get, get the ball, keep pushing. Don't slow down. Go. They're fouling us. Let's make the free throws. If not, we might add one. And then if not, we have been very fortunate in Garner with our community relationships, and, and I attribute that to having a constant relationship with our community back from the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, and today. You can't build those relationships when there's times of trouble. The times of trouble, community shows what kind of relationships that you're having with each other. Sir Robert Peel, one of his uh, guiding principles, the community are the police and the police are the community, which basically means we have to work together. We just happen to be the people getting paid where the community's the volunteers. We cannot be successful without their help and the community will not be successful without our help. So it, it's a relationship that has to be formed between the police and the community. When I first started out in law enforcement 25 years ago, it was arrest, write tickets, and, and help people that are in need. Today, we are more community driven to where we try to solve, uh, we're trying to be problem solvers and in, in lieu of taking people to jail. It's a total philosophical shift. We, 
We still take people to jail. There's times people need to go to jail. There's times people need speeding tickets. There's times uh, people need warnings. And there's times people just need us as a sounding board to be able to vent and just have a conversation. They were trying to get going in the 80s. They called it community policing. Uh, it's still community policing, but it's even further. We, we, we have officers that are trained in crisis intervention. If you'd have told me 25 years ago we'd be doing that, I, I, I wouldn't have believed it. <laughs> My dad, when he was alive, the Garner Police Department had the community policing model going on, especially when he was the chief. When Chief Moss came in, he just expanded that and made it more of a role into the community. Uh, Chief Zudema continued that approach and uh, just continued expanding programs and our involvement with civic organizations, the community, and anybody that uh, we can come in contact with to have that non-confrontational setting to show that we are indeed human beings as well as they are. You're going to have to coach tonight, all right? Our community has always been um, a very strong uh, police supporter. Anytime we reach out to them for help, they help us. And the, the biggest thing I can harp on that is you can't build that relationship tomorrow. It, it, it takes decades to build it and build that reputation. Then you have to just be extremely careful about not ruining it with one simple act. So Garner Powell is always accepting volunteers, mentors, to help with our various programming. People can also get involved with our police department. We have a Citizens in Police Together team. They are a volunteer team that helps us out with behind the scenes activities, with DWI checkpoints, with numerous other things that we do. They're our support system and and able to get involved with the police department that way. And, uh, and in order to be able to be a part of that team, we have a Citizens Police Academy that uh, they can join, and we're accepting applications now for that.